Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. Got a beer from my local brewery, Quantock Brewery, for you today. And it's a can of Intergalactic Space Cow, a dry hopped milk stout, coming in at 5%. So, on the cover, on the camera up there, well, for fans of sci fi, it looks like a starship going into warp. You know, that's the the sort of light streaks you get when you're going faster than light in your favourite sci-fi film or TV series. I won't say which mine is because of the two major ones there's always a big divide, isn't there? But anyway, there we have it. So, we're all set to launch this Moo Sieve Creamy Treat. See, Milk Stout, Moo, Space Cow into a whole new Milky Way, orbiting your senses for an out of this world experience. Our take on a milk stout loaded with malted oats and lactose for an extra lush mouthfeel, subtle roastiness and autumnal fruitiness in a dark abyss. This sumptuously creamy dark destroyer has a full body taste explosion of vanilla, chocolate and a subtle hint of pine. According to the can. The hops they've used are Cascade and Columbus which is Quite an interesting mix there, very um, west coasty. So, apart from the lactose, there's no other real additives to it. That's water, hops, malted barley, wheat, yeast, oats, and lactose. Nice and simple. Let's give it a go, shall we? Now, I do like a nice stout, and I certainly like. Want a brewery, so hopefully this should be pretty good. Let's drop it into a glass and see what it's like. I don't want to give it too vigorous a pour because I don't want to get a massive grey head on it, but it looks like it's generating a huge head anyway but there we have it hopefully that will die down pretty soon let's look at the state of that anyway you've got a rich dark beer it's not quite jet black if i hold it up to the light there's a bit of ruby showing through at the base there and you've got a two finger solid mocha colored head there we have it Certainly looks good, doesn't it? Well, looks like a stout. I am getting hints of chocolate and hints of coffee on the nose. There's a, almost a slight spiciness in there as well. But it certainly smells like a stout. Now, 5%, that should be fairly easy drinking for a stout, it's not a big sipper as I'd call it. So, let's give it a go shall we? Wow, it's very rich, plenty of coffee, there's tobacco notes in there. And that's a real earthy smokiness as well. It's a very slight sweetness. Not quite sure I'd go as far as vanilla, but I mean, everybody's different. Really rich dark chocolate in there. Just top it off it. That head has died down nicely now. I go very gently. That's a bit better there. So, yep, really rich dark chocolate, nice hit of coffee, and a good smokiness as well. Not quite getting the pine come through, but they've 
they say on the can that is in there. But, you know, we've all got different tastes. Maybe someone else will pick that out more than I would. There is a bitterness on the back end. But that's, for me, that's coming more from that coffee flavour than anything from the malts they've used. I mean, all in all, that is a really good stout, don't get me wrong. I'm just not quite agreeing with what they've popped on the can there. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that it's delicious. Not quite picking up the fruitiness that they've said, but I mean, there's, there's an element in there, probably from the sweetness. It could be a hint of dark fruit in there, but Whether I can pick that out as a red fruit or a hedgerow-y char character, I'm not quite sure. It is mainly the chocolate and the coffee with that smoky overtone you're getting. But that to me is you know, one of the main sort of aspects I'd be looking for in a stout. So, all in all, a fantastic beer. And you can't really go wrong then, can you? I can't remember how much I paid for that. I think it was around the four or five pound mark, maybe. But well worth it, I'd say. Yeah. Am I drinking this right time of year, beginning of May? Probably not. However, it's been tipping down all day here, so it feels like a stout kind of day to me. So for that one, it's just right. Yep, absolutely fantastic. It's not quite as thick as you might get on another stout, but what body it has got is very soft, it's very luscious, it's silky smooth. Perfect. Near enough anyway. Well, cheers to you all. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this one. I have got one more coming up, which is of course my fantastic looking bottle there of last breakfast. Of the three that I picked up recently from Quantox Taproom. I'll be looking forward to that one. That one is going to be a big sipper, 9.5%. But for now, cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there. I'll pop the website for Quantock down there in the description box. And until next time, very happy drinking. Yeah.